Hello, hello, hello. Good morning po. Good morning mga mom and sir. Uh, welcome to another webinar from Bibal uh, entitled Beyond Borders, Video Lesson Creation in Mathematics. But before anything else, I'd like to take this opportunity uh, to thank Dr. Ian Garces and the Bibal, uh, Bibal group for giving me this opportunity to showcase, to show uh, to demonstrate what we have, one of the best practices that we have in Makati Science High School. Uh, I said one of the best practices for the information of everyone, uh, even before the pandemic, uh, we have this set of teachers who are doing video lessons already, way back in 2011, Payata, 2012. Okay. Actually, uh, I learned it from him. So, nag start ako gumawa ng video lesson mga 2018. Then, all of a sudden, so here we are. Because of the issue uh, of the pandemic, so marami ng teachers yung nag, uh, kumbaga, trying to make video lessons. All right. Also, before I, I proceed, so I'd like to greet all the fathers out there. Happy Father's Day po. Okay. Okay. So, uh, as you can see here on my screen, okay, so dito iikot yung pag-uusapan natin for today. Okay, so the learning modalities, what are the principles, why do we need to make a video lesson in math, of course, what are the challenges that we might encounter, and then of course, syempre, kung may challenges, there must be a remedy, we must do something, there should be some suggestion and tips on how to create an effective video lesson. And of course, uh, on my choice part, so ito yung suggestion ko, ano ba yung mga ginagamit ko, alright, but disclaimer lang po, mm, I'm not recommend. Uh, I'm not saying uh, what what I'm using is better on the other software. Okay, po. So I'm just going to show you ano yung ginagamit namin na I think effective and mapapakinabangan po ng mga teachers. And of course, if time permits, I'm going to show you some sample and then uh, some some few announcements. Okay, po. So let's begin. Okay, on learning modalities. Okay, so. Last Monday, during the IATF meeting of our president, so nilinaw niya kung ano yung stand niya with, when it comes to uh, on the opening of the school year, okay? So, ito po ang sabi ni president. So, school will open on August 24 as mandated by law. Alright? So, according to our president, so we will follow a blended learning approach. Part of this learning strategy is distance and online learning using communication technology and digital devices. All right. So, ibig sabihin, so since ang stud ni President Jan, alam natin, so there will be no face-to-face -face classes hanggat walang vaccine. Ang tanong, kailan ba magkakaroon ng vaccine? Well, we don't know. Only time can tell. All right. And if ever magkaroon, uh, I don't think uh, we will be, kumaga, it's a matter of priorities kasi. So kung mabibigyan ba agad ng Philippines or not. So we don't know. So, syempre, with that, hindi naman pwedeng mag-antay tayo ng may box kung kailan magkaka-vaccine tsaka lang tayo mag-start ng school year. Yun po yung stand ni Secretary. Tama po? So, education cannot wait. Education must continue. So, yun, yun, yun sabi niya. By the way, so this one is taken prior dun sa announcement ni President. Okay? Basang sinasabi niya dito. Okay? So, education must continue in the midst of coronavirus crisis. Our call remains the same. Education must continue. Okay? So, scrap na natin yung face-to-face -face because wala pang vaccine. So, what we are going to do is virtual. Alright? So, now, here in this learning modalities in the new normal, okay? So, ito pong color blue. So, wala na po to. So, malino na malino po yun. Walang face-to-face. Yung blended learning, when you say blended learning, it's a combination of face-to-face -face and distance learning. Okay? Modular and online distance learning. So, wala na pong face-to-face. -face. So, meaning to say, so we're going to have this, number three and number four. I'm going to focus on number three, distance learning. Okay? So, it can be two. Uh, Pahapyaan ko lang itong distance learning. Alright. So, pag sinabing... Uh, Modular distance learning, it can be the old school type, the traditional printed modules, and then of course, the digital materials. Pahapiwan ko po, no? So, yung digital materials, actually, siguro mga end ng March, alright? And siguro start ng April, 
nagkaroon ng series of uh, webinars, tama? So, how to use Katobi, okay? For the information of everyone, dun sa mga wala pang background sa Katobi, okay? So, yung Katobi po, so yung printed materials, you, know, you can convert it into an interactive module wherein you can insert video, you can insert, uh, pwede ka mag-insert ng audio recording, okay? So, pwede ka mag-insert ng interactive assessment sa Katobi, okay? Now, on the other hand, Halimbawa, dun sa mga remote areas natin na as in wala talagang internet, wala talagang gadgets, okay? So, ang gagawin natin dun, ang gagawin ni DepEd, so, actually, most of the teachers are now preparing modules and uh, school activities, uh, student activities. So, ang gagawin dyan, the school, uh, the Dep DepEd schools will distribute it to barangay wherein the parents will pick it up and yun yung pag-aaral ng bata. All right. Now, then, so online, so online distance learning, okay. So, dito ako magpo-focus sa dalawa, okay. Actually, yung software na gagamitin natin later, so magagamit nyo yun both on synchronous and asynchronous uh, instruction, okay. What do you mean by synchronous? From the word synchronize, so sabay-sabay, okay. So, meaning, si teacher magsiset ng time, okay, wherein the students will log in or they will receive link. Okay, so and then si teacher mag-start siya ng discussion. Okay, so sa math, kailang kailangan yan. Okay, so paano natin gagawin yun? It can be via Google Meet. And I'm sure uh, most teachers are familiar already how to use Google Meet. Tama? Kasi when you have your webinars, when you have your uh, <clears throat> meeting, online meeting with your principals, with your department heads, or, or, or in your division, you're using Google Meet. Then, kung in the absence of Google uh, Google Meet, pwede kayo mag-Zoom, alright? Then, kung hindi pa rin mag-work, actually, you can try this. Actually, what we're using right now in Bibal is StreamYard. Okay, so it's a web-based um, wherein you can, uh, it's like Zoom. So, pwede kayo mag-share ng screen and so on. And then, you can also try GoToMeeting and Cisco WebEx. However, in, in our country, hindi ito masyadong ginagamit. Okay? So, yun. Next. <coughs> When it comes to asynchronous, okay, the illustration speaks for itself. Okay, kita nyo yan, no? See that? So the students, hawak niya yung oras niya. He has the freedom, he has the option when he or she will log into your chosen LMS. Mapa Google Classroom man yan, Moodle man yan, or uh, Neo LMS, or... So my choice, my option is student, kailan siya maglalog in. Okay, as we all know, in Google Classroom, uh, dun sa mga LMS natin, we can post our handouts there, our problem set, our modules. Okay? Pwede ka rin mag-set ng online assessment. Okay? Now, I put emphasis here sa video lesson. Uh, dito sa ano? Sa, ito, it represents video lesson. Okay? Pwede ka mag-gawa ng video lesson, then i-upload mo or ipopost mo yung link sa Google Classroom mo or sa chosen LMS mo. Right? Now, in math, <coughs> Excuse me. In math, uh, I know if I know you will agree with me. Uh, it's to be effective during this time. Okay, important thing my input si teacher in a form of video lesson. Why? Okay, I'll show you why. I'll show you how. Okay. <coughs> okay. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> okay. What I'm showing you right, right now is my handout uh, in grade 10. My topic here is arithmetic progression. Kunyari, no, imagine natin mga mom, sir. <clears throat> I have 40 students. Suppose itong handout na to, detalyado yan. So I have the definition, derivation of the formula, okay? And then of course, solve problems. Uh, I think may sinolve ako dito ng lima. Okay. Kita nyo po? Alright, I have five examples there. And then, of course, after that, may mga exercises ako. I think 1 to 25 to. Ayan, so 1 to 25 examples. My point here is, so this is already a learning material. Pwede ko tong ibigay na lang sa klase ko. Okay, pwede kong na lang i-upload and then pwede na lang aralin. But I tell you, so those 40 students, they will not actually get it. Hindi lahat sila makukuha yun, mamamaster yung lesson. So dito papasok yung input ni teacher. 
Okay, this is math. Eh. So, kumbaga, hindi lahat ng student can learn math on their own. Kailangan pa rin ng guidance ni teacher. Okay? So, I hope you understand my point here. So, importante sa math, my video lesson. Kasi, yung gagawin mo, yung solution ni teacher, yung approach ni teacher, doon magbe-base sa students how he or she will answer similar problems. Okay? Okay. So, now, ngayong alam natin ano yung importance ng bakit kailangan ng video lesson. So, suppose, ano na, no? So, in making video lesson, of course, syempre, it's inevitable. So, we have to adapt on the situation. Okay? We have to adapt on the situation. We have to respond. Okay? We must do something. So, of course, there are challenges that we might encounter. So, before making an effective video lesson, so, dapat aware tayo, ano yung mga challenges na may encounter natin so that we, uh, we will be ready. Okay. So, one is this. Okay. This is very important, mga ma'am and sir. Knowledge. Okay. Well, uh, so in making video lesson, okay, halimbawa, you're going to make a video lesson, then you're going to upload it in YouTube, and then you're going to give the link to your student. So note that if you are going to, to upload your video lesson to your students at uh, to YouTube, note that hindi lang yung estudyante mo ang makaka-access nun, right? So pwedeng ibang tao. Okay? Especially, depende yun sa tags na gagawin mo. Doon sa mga nag-YouTube, they, they know what I'm talking about. So, depende sa tags, sa limbawa. Alright. Important yung knowledge. So, dapat quality check. Quality check siya. It's very important. Imagine, if magkaroon ka ng misconception or may mali kang ma-discuss, it's not only your students. Uh, kumbaga, ang mad kumbaga, lalo na kung pinaniwalaan yung sinabi mo, tapos mali pala, di ba? So, it's very important. So, how to do this? How to solve this? Of course, so you may ask your friend, which is a teacher also in math, or ask your master teachers or department head to check it, or kung close ka sa EPS mo, you can ask him or her to check it. I'm sure they are more than willing to do that. Okay? So, malina po tayo doon. So, make sure, bago nyo i-post sa YouTube yung mga videos na gagawin nyo, dapat check nyo yung content. That's very important. Okay? Di baling hindi ganun kaganda yung animation natin, mga mom and sir. Hindi, ganun, hindi baling hindi ganun kaganda yung transition natin, yung effects natin, basta tama yung content. So I, I, I want to make sure that dapat ganun. Okay? And also, this is very important. See to it, uh, we are all familiar with this, yung gagawin nating video dapat naka-anchor sa MELCs, sa Most Essential Learning Competencies. Alright? Okay. Next. <clears throat> now, budget. Siya, syempre, problem yung budget. So, I, I'm sure lahat ng teachers na nanonood ngayon, of course, you have your gadgets, you have your internet, di ba? Okay. So, ang problem, paano yung students na wala? So, yun yung problem, di ba? Kaya, nandiyan yung uh, traditional module. Okay. So, isa yun sa consider natin. It's true, okay, mga mom and sir, true enough, we cannot reach everyone, especially yung mga remote areas, yung talagang malayong malayo sa kabahis, kabihasnan. Alright? We cannot reach all of them, but we must reach as many as we can. And one way to do that is to make an effective video. Alright? Next, uh, I intentionally make a larger circle here, okay? Kasi ito yung isa sa malaking problem, resistance. Okay? So especially, uh, ibig sabihin dyan, so meron tayo halimbawa, uh, especially kung season teachers, no, yung mga 20 years na, 25 years, 30 years in the service. So tapos all of a sudden, ganito yung changes, medyo mahirap mag-adjust. Okay? So dapat, we teachers, uh, nire-ready natin yung sarili natin. Like I said, this is inevitable. So we cannot, uh, kumbaga, all we have to do is just to embrace the challenge of the new normal. And part of it is dapat open-minded tayo. Okay? Next is, ito, uh, hindi na ito masyadong problem. Capabilities and readiness. Uh, recently, starting March yata, kabi-kabila na yung webinar. Hindi mo na alam kung saan ka-attend. Tama? So, may webinar how to use a uh, 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 Google Classroom, how to, how to make, how to use Katobi. 
madami, di ba? How to how to use OBS and so on. Marami pong uh, uh, webinars. Okay. So, ngayon, okay, it's important before ka mag-create ng video lesson, dapat equip ka so you know what to do. Okay, that's why we're having this kind of webinar. Okay? So, next. Last is time constraint. Okay, so today is June 20. Two months from now, August 24, mag-roll out ang school year 2020-2021. We only have two months. So, kung hindi ka pa nakapag-start ng video lesson before, well, the best thing to do is start after this session. Okay. So, I guarantee you, ma'am and sir, so after this, papakita ko sa inyo, hindi naman pala ganun kahirap gumawa ng video lesson in math. It's not that complicated. Okay? Basta guided lang tayo on what to do. Okay? Alright. So, those are some challenges na dapat natin titingnan natin. Ah, okay. So, dapat ganito yung gagawin ko. Alright. So, of course, here are some tips to make uh, and creating a video lesson. Ano ba dapat nang gawin? Alright. First na natin i-consider is your preparation. Okay. So, preparation in the sense that you're going to make your presentation. Parang ganito lang yan eh. Diba? Sa face-to-face -face lesson natin, before, diba? Diba? Kunyari, magde-demo ka. So, ang ginagawa natin, we make our DLL, we make our lesson plan, we make our visual aids. Diba? Smooth, nagsusulat ka pa ng... Gumagawa ka ng cue cards, sinusulat mo sa piece of paper, and so on. Right? Now, here, in making a uh, in, uh, on virtual classroom, what you're going to do is a PowerPoint presentation or what or Prezi presentation or other other forms. Okay, note that in making your presentation, nasabi ko na to kanina, okay, stress ko to, no, ma'am and sir. Okay, I understand the, the goal of creating a beautiful transition, magandang effects, okay, animation, and so on. That's good. That's how to motivate our students para, kumbaga, ma-hold natin yung interest nila, yung attention nila. Okay, but, wag pong masyadong madami. In a way na, na-focus na yung attention nila sa emoji or dun sa, sa GIF na in-insert mo dun sa, sa slides mo. Dapat, ang focus nila, naka, ang attention, nandun pa rin sa topic na dinidiscuss mo. Clear po tayo? That's very important. Okay. So, Next, whoops. Okay, so after presentation, now sa mga beginners, so, so mga lalo na yung hindi, con, yung kumbaga medyo kinakabahan, hindi pa mas, medyo kulang pa ng confident. Iba kasi kapag kaharap mo yung camera eh, alright, kesa sa kaharap mo sudyante. So, one way is you can make your script if you want, okay, lalo na kung beginners. Okay, later on dun sa app na gagawin natin, papakita ko sa inyo, pwede pala mag-insert ng script na hindi halata, okay. Mamaya, ready po yan. And then this chunk instruction. Okay? This is very important, mga mom and sir. Alright. Ibig ko sabihin, uh, balik ako dun sa, sa module ko kanina. Okay. Suppose my topic is arithmetic progression. Uh, I've been teaching this for how many years? So alam ko na to. Kabisado ko na yan. So I can talk about arithmetic progression. I can solve problems for one hour or more than one hour. I can say a lot of things on arithmetic progression. But, but, you cannot do that in video lesson. Did you get it? Hindi po dapat ganun. So, you have to cut it. So, yung pinaka-important lang. In making video lesson, mga mom and sir, make it brief. Alright? Make it brief, but concise. Okay. Why? So, there's a study, there's a research uh, it says here, research on instructional video shows that learner engagement with videos begins to drop after the six-minute mark. And it falls dramatically after nine. Okay? So, on the average. So, ibig sabihin, uh, sa high school, okay pa eh. Pero sa elementary, imagine, gagawa ka ng video lesson, kunyari, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, and then uh, uh, you'll ask the parents to let his... Uh, his or her child to watch it, uh, I don't think ma-hold yung attention ng students, even in high school. So, kung gagawa ng video lesson as much as possible, uh, based on dun sa mga ni-research ko, dapat hindi mag-exceed ng 10 minutes. Alright? Hindi dapat mag-exceed ng 10 minutes. Really? Okay. Anong gagawin ko? 
Kaya ba ang arithmetic progression i-discuss in 10 minutes? Of course not. Sa klase nga, di ba, we discuss arithmetic sequence, arithmetic series, uh, siguro mga 3 days, 4 days, tama? Tapos, i-compress mo sa 10 minutes, definitely hindi yun kaya. So, anong ibig kong sabihin? So, for example, in this uh, in this module, so, syempre, introduction mo, discuss mo yung concept. If confident ka i-derive yung formula, then go. Okay? Then solve one to two problems, and then cut mo yung video. Then make another one. Examples, three to five, and then cut it. Then kung sinipag ka, make another third video. Example, six to ten, and so on. Ganon po dapat. After all, alright? After all, based on the research, multiple short videos are better than one long video. Okay? Most of the time. Eh, anong gagawin ko kung hindi kaya ng 10 minutes? Halimbawa, yung lesson mo talaga requires a long solution. Gusto mo talaga ma-discuss. Wala naman pong problema. Pero hindi lagi. Kasi nga, I tell you, so the students, kumbaga hindi nila tatapusin yun. Okay? Okay? So, kailangan ma-hold yung attention natin. Okay? And then, build video ready slides. Ano po ibig sabihin nito? Kung sa face-to-face -face classes, so yung, di ba, pag nanonood ako ng demonstration ng teachers or classroom observation, minsan na makikita mo sa PowerPoint, lahat ng text, puro text. Di ba? So, sa video lesson, try to avoid it. As much as possible in a bullet form, like what I'm doing. Then, elaborate mo na lang so that the students will pay attention to what you are saying. Okay? Alright. So, selection. Okay, nandito na tayo. We're almost there. Okay. So, when you Google, when, when you go to Google, search mo uh, video recorder, ang dami. Alright? And all of them are saying, they are the best video, this is the best video recorder. Okay? <laughs> diba? Pero, okay, ito yung ilan. Ito yung very common now. So, most of you are familiar kung ano to. Okay, anong icon to? This is the icon for OBS or Open Broadcaster Software. Alright, so totoo naman, this is very powerful. So marami siyang kayang gawin. Okay, so later papakita ko rin siya. Okay, and then this. This is also, trinay ko tong i-install before. So Camtasia, this is the icon for Camtasia. Okay, but I tell you, ako na-experience ko na to. Between the two, okay, between the two, OBS and Camtasia, Camtasia is easier to use. User-friendly. Alright? User-friendly. However, okay, si OBS is free. Okay? Free talaga siya all throughout. However, si Camtasia, free siya for 30 days. User-friendly nga, pero for 30 days. After that, you have to upgrade your subscription. Okay? So, kaya in-install ko yan. Okay? And then, the third one is this, Screencast-O-Matic. Okay. Now, si Screencast-O-Matic is like Camtasia in a sense na user-friendly. Madaling gapitin compared to OBS. And the good thing here is Screencast-O-Matic is also free. Do you get it? So I guess you have, our, uh, you have an uh, idea already ano ba yung gagamitin ko mamaya. Bakit ko, uh, bakit ko nag-stick ako kay Screencast-O-Matic? Okay. I'm going to show you later why. Okay. Next is, uh, okay, convenience equals performance. Alright. So, in presenting your lesson, dapat yung gagamitin natin, sanay ka. Okay, so that ma-bring out yung best mo for your students. Ibig sabihin, PowerPoint presentation. Kung sanay kang gumamit ng PowerPoint presentation in delivering the ideas, the math concept, then go. Okay, there's nothing wrong with that. I'll show you an example. Alright. Kunyari, okay, uh, mag-open ako nito. So this is my presentation during the national training last year lang, okay? So on the use of graphic calculator. Okay, ito ibig ko sabihin, okay, uh, if comfortable ka to use this presentation, ma-deliver mo yung concept, go. Halimbawa, okay, kunyari ang, ang, ang lesson mo is parabola for senior high school, di ba? Kunyari, uh, we define a parabola. Uh, a parabola is the locus of a point that moves such that its distances from a fixed point and a fixed line are equal. Ibigay mo lang ganyan sa student, they will not understand. Kailangan yung abstract na yan, so maintindihan nila. You have to make an illustration like this. Okay, see that? Okay, so that makita nila yung curve na matitrace, 
yung curve na matitrace, yun yung parabola. In such a way, this point here, yung distant ng point na to to a fixed point is equal to the distant from this point to this line. So yung red broken lines na yan, equal po yan. So that's how you define your parabola. I'm sure kung ganyan yung presentation mo, may intindihan ng students yung definition. You get my point? Look, tingnan niyo yung presentation ko. Wala siyang emoji, hindi siya magan hindi walang masyadong transition, all right? So I just gumamit lang ako ng uh, multiple slides and then that's it. But one thing is for sure, naintindihan yung definition. Okay. So ganun lang po 'yon. All right. Then you can use Prezi presentation kung gusto mo maiba naman. Actually, what I'm using right now is Prezi. All right? Then Canva, okay? So yung Canva, uh, more on design to, pero sinama ko na rin kasi like Prezi, meron siyang template for presentation. And then, uh, this is Microsoft OneNote. Okay, so kung may tablet kayo, you can use this. Pwede kayo magsulat using your uh, true stylus, all right? Or touch screen yan. Okay, and then this one, the Vimeo Studio. Okay, I'm going to differentiate this later. Bakit I prefer this one than this. Okay? So yan po yung mga pwede natin gamitin pang percent. All right. Engagement. Okay. Enhance engagement. Okay. So simply sitting and watching videos can lead students to lose focus. Tuto naman. Okay. So alimbawa, naggawa ka ng video lesson tapos as in nagsolve ka lang ng problem. So tapos mahaba. Uh, I'm sure medyo one in some point mag malulus yung interest ng student. Lalo na sa bahay. Maraming temptation. Diba? Baka maglago na lang yan. Mag-video games na lang yan or something. Okay, so paano natin i-address yun? Okay, keep the students actively engaged through guide questions. Try to pose for some time. Okay, keep the students actively engaged through guide questions. Halimbawa, pakita ko to. Okay, uh, balik ako dito sa slide ko, sa circle sa man. Kunyari, alright, show ko to. Kunyari, ito yung problem. Kunyari, nag-video record na ako. So, babasahin ko yung problem. A Ferris wheel, blah, 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 and so on. Okay. Now, basahin ko pala. A Ferris wheel is elevated 1 meter above the ground. When a car reaches the highest point on the Ferris wheel, its altitude from ground level is 31 meters above. Okay. How far away from the center horizontally is the car when it is an, when it is at an altitude of 25 meters? Yung ibig kong sabihin dito, kunyari, ito yung Cartesian plane, ito yung Ferris wheel. So, hindi mo diretsyo siyang isusolve habang nag-video ka. Try to pose for a while. Alimbawa, so if the Ferris wheel is 1 meter above the ground, what is the coordinate of this point? 1, 0 or 0, 1? And then pose for 5 seconds, five to, 3 to 5 seconds. In that way, the student will somehow, oh nga, no, what's the coordinate of this point? Okay, ah, 0, 1. If the Ferris wheel, the maximum height reached by the Ferris wheel is 31 meters, What's the coordinate of this point? 31, 0 o 0, 31? Then post ka ng konti ulit. Somehow, student will generate ideas. Ah, 31, 0. Tapos sasabihin mo, 0, 31. Ah, mali. So, marirealize niya, ay, oo nga pala, no? Kasi, why intercept yan? So, it should be 0, 31. Then, ganon. The diameter, so it follows. 30 yan. If the diameter is 30, what's the radius? Ah, 15. Okay. So, yon. Ganon lang po ibig sabihin. So, Try to make a video na wag tuloy-tuloy kung kaya mong insertan ng post, magpo-post ka for a while for them to for, for them to elicit uh, ideas coming from them better. And then, this is very important. In making video lessons, provide a question at the end of the video lesson parallel to what you have discussed. This is very important. Para siguradong papanoorin niya yung video mo at tatapusin niya. Okay. Halimbawa, ang lesson mo, arithmetic sequence. So, kung may examples ka na tatlo, magbigay ka ng mga dalawang problem parallel to what you have discussed. So that meron siyang susundan step by step. Okay? Next. So, ito, students should think of video lesson, uh, video watching as a task they perform actively in, uh, in order to learn. Alright. And then last, this is very important, be true to yourself. Okay? So, just be confident, ma'am and sir. So keep in mind, okay, dapat confident ka that you have something worthwhile to share to your students, to your viewers, to your followers in YouTube. Kung ipopost mo man yan. Okay? 
So remember, the most important element of a strong video is authenticity. Okay. Madaling madetect ng viewers, madaling madetect ng student kung obvious na scripted ka or, di ba? So it's, what is important is when you face the camera, when you start talking, dapat galing dito, galing dito. Alright? Then, research shows that videos in which the instructor speaks in a natural, conversational manner with an enthusiastic tone are most engaging. All right. And then, in addition, students really appreciate knowing that it's their actual teacher behind that video. Uh, I'd like to emphasize this, no? Iba yung dating sa estudyante kapag alam nila, teacher nila yung nagsasalita. We all know sa PowerPoint, well, okay lang, I, I, tried, this, I, I tried it already. Pwede kang gumawa ng, pwede ka mag-record ng voice mo while uh, presenting your slides, right? There's nothing wrong with that. It's okay. Okay? Kaya lang, hindi ka pwede maglagay ng, uh, hindi nila makikita kung sino yung sasalita, right? Ikaw nga lang nag-upload. Okay? Correct me if I'm wrong, pero alam ko parang ganun yata yan. Okay? But, mas maganda kung nakikita ng students, ah, si Sir Mark yung nag-discuss ng arithmetic sequence. Okay? So, yun. Okay, kasi nandun yung kumbaga uh, bond between the student and the teacher. Alright. Next. Okay. So those are some tips that we must consider. Alright. So the preparation, selection of uh, video recorder, convenience, engagement, and be yourself. Okay. So, we're done with that first part. Okay. Nandito na ako ngayon sa ginagamit ko. Again, disclaimer, no, I'm not saying screencast automatic is better than OBS or better than Camtasia, better than a Screencastify or etc. Okay? Pero, papakita ko sa inyo bakit siya yung pinili ko. Alright? So, may link dito. Okay. Now, mamaya ako na lang papakita. Okay? So, screencast automatic remember this icon, no? Circle na may malaking center. Alright? Then, for the presentation, for this lecture, I'm going to use Mimeo Studio. Okay. So, kahit wala kang tablet, Pwede mo itong gamitin. Very user-friendly. Alright? And it's for free. And then, this is not part of it, pero kung gusto mong mag-edit ng video, uh, I recommend Filmora, no? Madali, user-friendly din siya. Lahat ng ginagamit ko, user-friendly. Kasi syempre, pre preparing your lesson is one thing. Right? Preparing your lesson is one thing. Magbibideo ka is another. Editing is another na naman. So, dapat dun ka na sa hindi ka mahihirapan to save time at para mas makarami ka. Kasi marami pa tayong gagawin iba, right? Okay. So, okay. So, screencast o matik. So, okay. So, ang screencast o uh, Before I proceed to screencast o matik, no? So, pakita ko lang yung OBS. Okay? Ito yung icon. I, I hope nakikita ko nyo yung toolbar ko o yung taskbar ko. Okay. I'm going to launch my OBS. Oops, teka. Delete ko muna tong mga sources ko. Alright? Okay, for beginners ng OBS, pag in-install mo siya, uh, in-install mo siya, ito yung makikita mo. Lalo na kung beginner ka, no? so napakadami mong kailangang i-explore. Okay, para ma-maximize ma mo yung potential ng software. Right? So, if you want to add audio, if you want to add uh, your, your webcam, kunyari, ayan, so ito yung webcam mo. Alright. Saan? Okay, wala. Okay, display. Okay. So, ayan yung screen. Medyo complicated siya. Okay? Pero ma kung sa mga aral, maaaral at maaaral yan. Okay. Okay. Pero, compared to screencast, screencast o matik, hindi ganun kadami yung pipindutin mo. You can make a video, upo ka lang sa harap ng laptop mo, and then do the docking in 3, 2, 1, record mo na. Ganun lang po siya. Alright. So, paano natin gagawin yun? Alright. So, we can search it. You can search it sa internet. Okay? Screencastomatic.com Alright. So, kapag sinerch mo siya, ayun, may kita natin, di ba? Mga ma'am and sir. Uh, start recording for free. Okay. Pag click mo yan, okay. Kiklik mo ulit to. Launch free recorder. Pag click mo yung launch pre-recorder, ito yung map map mapupunta sa screen. Ito yung mangyari sa screen mo. I'm not going to press it because I already installed it on my uh, desktop. Okay? Ulitin ko po, when you go to the screencast o website, 
start free recording and then launch it. Okay. Pero better make a subscription for free naman yan eh. Kaya nakita nyo on the upper right, I have there my email. Okay? I have there my email. So ang mangyayari, okay, kung visible sa inyo tong taskbar ko, nandito yung circle na may malaking center. Oh. Ito yung icon screencast automatic. Okay. So when I click the icon for screencast automatic, ito yung lalabas. Actually, hindi ko na ito ginagamit kung tatlo. Ito lang yung recorder. May kita nyo, see that? Naka-register kasi ako, yun na. Kikita nyo yan? So, I'm a free user. Okay, free user. Okay, yung initials ko yan, Mark Vidalio. So, ipipress nyo lang yung recorder. Okay? Nakita nyo yung nasa screen ko. Okay? So, ito lang po yung screen after mag-record. Okay, dito. So, you have the option. Ano bang gusto mong makita? Screen lang. Pag screen lang, okay, kung ano lang nasa screen mo, parang PowerPoint. Kung gusto mo webcam, ayan. Alright? Kung gusto mo boat, okay, may kita yung itsura mo dyan. So, habang sasalita ka dito. Alright. So, yun. Okay po? So, pipiliin mo lang. So, screen, screen, webcam, or boat. Kita yung screen mo and yung nagsasalita. I'll repeat. So, ako, I prefer na nakikita ako as their teacher. Kasi somehow, my connection between teacher and students. Okay? Then, for the maximum time, makikita nyo dito, 15 minutes lang kasi free user lang ako. Okay. So, after all, don't worry, hindi naman tayo affected dyan masyado kasi nga, so, ang suggested lang para maging effective yung video mo, huwag lalagpas ng 10 minutes. Okay? Again, gumawa ka ng marami, mas okay yun kesa sa isang maraming video. 15 minutes lang po siya. And then, this is for the full screen. So, ako, naka-full screen ako, 1080p. You have options. 480 ba yan, 720, o full, full screen. What will happen pag prenes ko ang 720? Nakita nyo po? So, yung 720, so yung nasa loob lang ng area ng rectangle na to, yun lang yung makakapture ng video. Alright? Ito lang. Okay, so dapat ma-adjust mo siya. may adjust mo. Yung area na makakapture ng video. Okay. Uh, going back to sa sinabi ko kanina, pwede kang maglagay ng script. Okay, sabit singit ko lang to. Kanya'y gagawa ako ng script. Ayun. All right, kita niyo yung screen ko no? So ito, kunyari may script ako. All right. So hindi siya makikita kasi lagpas na siya sa area ng rectangle. Now, itong script na to, hindi ya pag binasa ko yan, hindi halata kasi yung webcam ko nasa taas. All right, kunyari binasa ko yan. Ayun. So, yun lang, keep lang. Okay? Alright, going back. So, ayun. So, you can choose. Alright? Kunyar, full screen. Okay. Then, ito, this is very important. Sa narration part, okay, pwede kang mamili kung anong microphone yung nandun. Sa akin kasi, yung webcam ko, may built-in mic. Okay? So, and then, uh, ito yung condenser mic ko, and then yung mic from the, top, from the laptop. Okay. So, piliin mo lang. See to it, Okay, see to it, kapa, bago ka mag-record, nag-blink yung green mo. Okay, so it uh, signifies na may nare-record siya. Then, eto, computer audio, nakikita nyo may X dyan. Ibig sabihin, hindi niya, hindi niya mare-record yung audio ng ipi-play mo sa laptop. Yun lang yung limitation na. Pero okay lang. So kung gusto mong, kunyari may video ka about history ng geometry, kunyari may nakita ka sa YouTube, di kahit wag mo na isingit sa slides mo. So, ibigay mo na siya directly. Alright? Separate file. Alright? So, after all, in making video lessons in math, dapat talaga nagtuturo tayo. Alright? Those so, are preferences. Actually, hindi ko na ito kinukonfigure. Okay na yan. Then, that's it. Okay? Ganun lang po kasimple. So, once na set up mo na yan, so, magre-record. Kunyari ito. Uh, kunyari yan. Mag-start na ako. Meron na akong presentation. Diba? Remember, yung preliminary natin. Dapat may preparation, uh, meron kang naka-prepare, naka-ready ng lesson. Okay, just press the record. And then mag-start ka na. In 3, 2, 1, go. Basahin mo na. So, a Ferris wheel is elevated 1 meter above the ground. When a car reaches the highest point on the Ferris wheel, etc., etc. Then stop mo. Alright, so it took me 10 seconds to read half of the problem. Kunyari. And then pwede mo siyang pakinggan. Alright? 
Okay. So wait. So mapapakinggan niyo siya. Okay, yung wait. Oops. Hindi pa pala nako-connect yung wait lang po ah. All right, hindi na open speaker ko. So, pero i kung gagawin niyo 'yan, so dito mapapakinggan niyo yung sinabi niyo. All right, try ulit natin. Ayan, nakikita niyo po. Okay, fail to. Hindi kasi nakakonect agad. Anyway, so kapag ginawa niyo 'yon, all right? So uh, I feel hindi ko nag nag automatic shutdown kasi ano ko, yung speaker. Anyway, kapag ginawa niyo 'yon, automatic mapi-play. So mapakikinggan niyo. All right, kung tama. Then ito pwedeng niyo i-adjust. Ayan no, ano ba? Hindi ko kunyari hindi mo gusto yung first two seconds mo, uh, medyo nabulol ka or something. Ayan, pwedeng mo i-adjust kung ano yung gusto mong uh, i-record lang. Alright, adjustable po yung 10 seconds na yan. And then, you have the options. Save mo siya sa computer mo as a video file. Kung may account ka, nag okay, pwede mo siyang idiretso sa screencast o matic website. Sa account mo. Or kung gusto mo, i-link mo siya, idiretso mo siya agad sa YouTube, pwede naman po. Suppose I plan it to save on my video file. Alright, yan, you have the options. ABI ba yan? FLB, MP4? Actually, wala naman akong kinukonfigure na dyan. Okay? Basta yung file name lang, palitan mo, and then yung destination folder, drive C, drive D, drive E. Okay? Then, publish. I'm not going to click it. Okay? Kasi sample lang naman yan. Pag clinic mo yung publish, in a matter of seconds, done. Tapos na yung video natin. Ganun lang po kasimple. Alright? Okay. Ulitin ko po. Ulitin natin, no? So, meron pa naman tayong time. So, ilunch nyo lang. Ganun lang po kasimple gumawa. Hindi kailangan maraming uh, technicalities. So, launch mo lang yung video recorder mo. Okay? So, makikita na natin. Okay? I-adjust mo na lang kung full screen or 720p and so on. Then, kung ready ka na, whenever you're comfortable, press the recording. In 3, 2, 1, go. Then, that's it. Okay? Once you're done on your piece, stop. Okay? And then, listen to it. Alright? Listen to it. Okay, kasi nga hindi ko siya nailink kasi agad. Pero okay lang yan. Okay. So, kung okay, kung walang problem, uh, what happened to my uh, ano, to my speaker, hindi ko kasi siya na-connect agad. Kaya ganun. Pero kung walang problem, dire-diretso po yun. So, may save mo siya like what I showed you earlier. Okay. Ganun lang po, pa-simple. Okay. Okay. So, that is how to make a video lesson. Uh, that's how to operate your screencast-o-matic. Okay. Now, uh, how to present my lesson? Okay. How, paano ko ba present yung lesson? Okay. Okay. Wait. So, like I said, for this session, I'm going to use my, uh, my Mimeo Studio. Okay. Yung Mimeo Studio, all right, like I said, eto actually uh, in, in accidentally ko lang na discover to ah may ganito pala nag-exist uh, we are very lucky in the city government of Makati okay flex ko lang yung LGU namin noong 2008 okay inisyuhan kami ng tablet na ganito Mimeo Studio tawag dito eh okay ito yung stylus niya okay i-connect mo lang yung dangle niya sa USB all right sa USB port and then Yun na yun. However, since 2008 pa siya, yung software nito, wala na rin kasi yung CD, hindi ko na makita. Uh, yung software niya, obsolete na. Hindi na siya magagamit. Okay? So, yun din, same brand, Mimeo Studio. Pero, nung in-explore ko siya, okay, very user-friendly. So, pwede siyang magamit, ma'am and sir, kahit wala kayong tablet. That's very important. Kasi syempre, alam naman gumasus gumastos ka pa, ba? So, Ayan. So, when you go to the Mimeo Studio, okay, so, just fill out, fill this out, so, yung details mo, and then download mo, okay? So, yun. Tingnan mo na lang kung ano yung compatible na OS mo, kung Windows 10 ka ba, or Macintosh, or Linux. Or, tapos kung Windows ka, so, see to it kung 32-bit uh, ka, or 64-bit. Okay? So, yun lang naman po yun. Okay? So, yun na. So, once ma-download mo siya, ito po papakita ko, pag nilunch mo siya, so si Mimeo Studio, ito yung ginagamit ko sa mga video lessons. Alright. 
So, ito po yung lalabas. Box Lightning Studio. Again, again, this is for free. Alright. This is for free. Okay. Ulitin ko, kahit walang tablet, pwede kayong gumawa nito. Okay. So, this is your screen. Okay. Parang, parang ito rin yung OneNote. Diba? So, yung features nito, yung function nito, meron din sa OneNote. Okay? So, okay. Halimbawa, isa-isahin natin, no, para aware tayo kung paano gamitin. Okay. Uh, okay. So, ito yung pinaka cursor natin. Ito yung pang-select natin. Ito yung triangle na to. I hope nakikita nyo sa screen. Kita po ba? Ayan. Okay. So, halimbawa, mag-insert ako ng text. Kunyari, yan yung text ko. Uh, halimbawa, Ah, uh, gawin lang ako simple problem. Di, dalian lang natin. Okay. If f of x equals, kunyari, simple lang, 3x minus 5. Find f of 2. Kunyari, ganun lang, no? Yung problem natin. Okay. So, pwede ka mag-insert ng text. Pwede mo siyang i-adjust parang Microsoft Word. Adjust mo yung size, adjust mo yung font style, bold mo siya, and whatever, center mo, fine. Walang problem. So, itong use po nito, just, it's used to to navigate yung object mo. Okay? To transfer it. Alright. So, then this is the pen. Okay. Ah, by the way, nakikita nyo itong apat na icons na to. May mga small triangles. I hope kita sa screen nyo. Okay? Pero makikita nyo yan pag dinownload nyo po. Right click nyo yun, you have the option. Ibig sabihin, may options ka other than the, what, you, what you are seeing. Okay. Pwedeng paintbrush, pwedeng pen. Try ko muna yung brush. Okay, brush. Alam natin yung paintbrush. Diba? Pag yung paintbrush, nilublub mo sa pintura, unang stroke mo, makapal pa yan. Pero, unti-unting lumiliit. Like this. Oops, I'm using red. Naka-paintbrush ako, makapal, pero lumiliit. Alright? Ayan, no? So, that's the use of it. So, erase mo siya. Alright? Or, if you want to totally erase it, use this, yung my X mark. Alright? So, what I'm going to use is this pen. No? Dibawa. So, again, I'm going to use mouse. So, okay. Halimbawa, to solve this one, f of 2, magawa ka ng video lesson. So, 3 times 2 minus 5. Alright? So, that will be 6 minus 5 equals, kunyari, nagkamali ka, na-add mo, 11. Uh, wag, ka ma wag ka mag retake Pwede ka naman mag-erase. After all, so, ganun talaga nangyari sa classroom, live, di ba? Sometimes, may na-careless ka, o kunyari, Pwede mong i-edit doon. So, mas maganda yon para sa akin. Alright? So, yun na. That's it. Okay? So, erase ko siya. Again, kaya yan sa OneNote. Alright. Then, you can zoom ito. Zoom in. Ito rin yun. Zoom in, zoom out, back to original. Halimbawa, ito na yun. Zoom in. Okay? Oops. Sorry. Ayan. Zoom in. Okay? Zoom out. Zoom out, zoom out. Back to original. Alright, zoom in, back to original. Oh, yun lang po yung use niyan. Okay. Then, uh, ang, nagan, ang nagustuhan ko dito kay, kay, ano, kay Mimeo Studio is yung equation part. Okay, kasi pakita ko yung OneNote, no? mag-open ako ng OneNote. Sa OneNote, ayan, may equation na ako. Sa OneNote, pwede ka rin magsulat. Mag, ayan, may, may eraser ka, may highlighter ka. Meron din si Mimeo Studio, okay? Pero sa equation part, delete ko muna to. Tingnan niyo po to, ah, mga ma'am and sir. mag insert ako ng equation kay OneNote. Parang sa Microsoft Word, di ba? Ganyan yung nakikita natin pag mag insert tayo ng equation. Alam ba? Insert ko square root of x. Alright. Maliit lang siya. Hindi mo siya mare-resize by using this drag. Malalenten mo siya, pero yung size, you have to increase the font size para ma-increase mo siya. Yun yung kay OneNote. Okay? Pero, ang kagandahan dito, alright, yung sa equation part niya, pag clinic ko yan, ayan, okay, parang equation editor, kung familiar kay sa equation editor. Alimbawa, mag-enter ako ng equation, no? kunyari, simplihan lang natin. Kunyari, x squared, ayan, minus 3x, uh, minus 4 equals 0. Suppose, ang, ang problem mo is factory. Ayan, no? So, you can resize it by using, yun lang, re-resize mo, para ka nagre-resize ng figure. So, mas maganda siya compared dun sa OneNote as far as making equation is concerned. 
Alright? Clear po tayo? Okay. So now, we're almost, ano na, no? So, papakita ko ngayon yung mga sample ko. Okay. Uh, let's have this one. Okay. Actually, you can use this, uh, you can use this Mimeo Studio kahit naka, naka ano ka, Google Meet or Zoom para live. Kung ayaw mo gumawa ng video lesson, gusto mo live, basta i-share mo lang yung screen mo, then do the solving using this Mimeo Studio. Effective na po yun. Kung alternative, uh, aside from making video lesson, for synchronous uh, delivering your lesson. Alright? So, ito yung example. By the way, nakikita nyo sa right side ko, ito yung sa power, parang sa PowerPoint. Alright? So, pwede ka mag-insert ng slides. So, yun, press nyo lang. You know, insert, then new page. Alright? So, yun lang po yun. Okay. So, yun. Okay. So, for example, ito. Ito yung, uh, I made this one through text. Sinulat ko lang. And then this one, ginawa ko siya through the equation. Madali lang pong gawin yan. Okay. Kunyari, ito yung lesson ko. Okay. So, in solving this, well, para sa akin, no, I'm not saying mali yung bibasahin mo lang yung PowerPoint mo. Then yun na yun. Walang problem doon. If that's, yun yung sanay ka doon, okay? Pero para sa akin, no, so I suggest kung maggagawa kayo ng video lesson, maganda, sinosolve nyo mismo. It's, kumbaga, mas appealing yun, mas may impact yun, kesa sa binabasa mo lang yung solution mo as it appears in your transition, in your animation. I I hope, I know you know what I'm saying. So, mas maganda kasi kung isusolve mo siya. Alright? Nandun yung mas teachable, mo, nandun yung teachable moment. Ay, okay, o nga, ganun pala gawin yun. Okay. So, I'll show you. Kunyari, ito yung problem mo, no? So, uh, okay. Solve ko to, kunyari. So, pwede mo palitan yung color ng pen mo. Kunyari, ayan, no? If X is 1, alright? 1 over 1. Medyo pasmada yung kamay ko. So, Okay, so 1 minus, if x is 1, so 1 plus 1, that's 2. Alright, so plus, so since integer lang to, if x is 2, so 1 over 2, minus 1 over 2 plus 1, okay, plus, and so on, plus, until you reach 10. So if this is 10, alright, minus 1 over 10 plus 1. Ayan. So, I'm pretty sure mas maganda yung stroke ng sulat nyo. Actually, kahit sa classroom, pangit talaga yung sulat ko eh. <laughs> anyway, alright. So, from there, ano ba, nag-deliver ka, no? Sinold mo siya, impromptu. Oh, you can do the cancellation. Negative one half plus one half, zero. Negative one third, may one third dyan, zero. Prior to this one over ten, may negative one over ten dyan, cancel mo yan. So, you'll see that uh, the value of this is one minus one over eleven or... 10 over 11. So, that's your answer. So, ganun siya. Ganun lang kasimple. Okay? Again, you can do this via Google Meet. Share mo lang screen mo and then do the solving. Basta nakaredy lang yung mga examples mo. Alright? Pero kung gusto mo gamitin to through, through your screencast o matic, better. So, that mas marami makapanood. Mas ma-share mo yung knowledge and expertise mo when it comes to mathematics. Okay. I'm done with problem 1. Okay. Next problem. Kunyari ito. Well, pwede nyo palitan yung screen, okay? So, pag right-click nyo yan, background, okay? Ito yung default nya, white, whiteboard. Okay, pag kilinig ko yan, din yung makikita yung factor completely kasi white yung font. Okay, so gusto ko ma-feel na nasa public school ako. Talagang yung mga private school, di ba, usually, or kung medyo maganda yung school nyo, so whiteboard, pero usually uh, green board yan, di ba, blackboard. Okay. So, palitan ko siya. Mas gusto ko ma-feel na black, uh, green board. Ayan. So, click nyo lang yun. Okay? Then, kung magsusulat ka, uh, press white. Factor completely. Kunyari, factor completely. Uh, okay. So, kunyari, ang problem mo, x to the fourth minus, okay, 23x squared, okay, plus 49. Kunyari, yan yung problem mo. Then, do the solving. Alright? So, kaya yan. So, ano ba? So, note that, okay, uh, kunyari yun. So, note that. So, x squared minus 7 to be squared. Okay, bibilisan ko na magsulat. Kaya, spare my handwriting. So, x to the 4th minus 14x squared. Okay, plus 49. But the problem is negative 23, kunyari. Oh, di, emphasize mo yun ngayon. So, probably maglagay ka ng space. Emphasize mo yun ngayon. 
So, yung negative 23 is negative 14x squared and negative 9. So, lalabas dyan, uh, yun na, difference of two squares. Alright? So, meaning to say, you can factor it as x squared minus 7 to b squared. Okay, minus 9x squared. Then, yun na. So, difference of two squared. I'm not going to solve it. Hindi naman yun yung concern natin. Pero pinakita ko lang how to discuss this one using your uh, Mimeo Studio. Okay? Okay. Next is this. Uh, okay, very common sa grade 8. Diba? Cartesian plane. Pwede ka mag-insert ng Cartesian plane mo if you want on this uh, icon. Right click, right click mo lang, insert file. Okay? Pero meron na tong built-in. May template na siya. So, insert, go to... Okay? Uh, insert ko lang ang equation. Ah, no, no, no. Sorry, sorry. No, no, not equation. So, insert ko lang ang gallery. Nasa yung gallery. Okay. Okay, sa gallery, so sa template, meron na siya. May, so, I go to template, no? May kita nyo na sa pinakadulo yung default niyang partition plane. Ayan, no? Double click nyo lang. Yun nga lang, hindi nyo may adjust Ang mag adjust yung problem. Okay? You can do better than that. Alright, pwede nyo siya mas maliit kung may decimal or fraction or mas maliit. Okay, but I prefer this one. Yun na yun. So, you have your built-in kung wala kang file ng partition plane. Then, that's it. Plot mo lang siya. So, kunyari, plot ka ng 3, negative 5. So, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. So, tama. Ay, white pala. Sorry. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. So, 2, 6. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Ayan na. So, yun na yung pag-plot mo ng point. So, kung i-draw mo yung line, itong rectangle na ito, maraming options yan. Right click, line. Then, that's it. Co-connect ko na siya. Then, Yun. So, makakapag-explain ka na dyan as if may face-to-face -face na nangyayari. Nasa actual classroom ka. Alright? So, get this, get the distance using distance formula. Then, that's it. Alright? So, sige, speed up ko na to. Alright? Close ko na to. Now, ito pala, Venn diagram. This problem, so, to solve this, kailangan mag-construct ng Venn diagram. So, paano ito gagawin? Alright? So, pwede naman, again, meron ka ng Venn diagram. O, gawa ka nito. Pwede naman sa dito. Gawa ka ng ellipse. Yan. Pwede naman gumawa ka ng ganyan. ba? Hindi nga lang equal. Pwede yan. But, meron siya, like partition plane, may default na rin siya. Okay. Tingnan nyo sa gallery din. So, sa gallery. Alright. Sa gallery. Sa images. yon. Search nyo na lang. Maraming images yan. We can explore it. Kung gusto mo may color. Ayan. Double click ko lang. That's it. Alright? Gusto mo ma may color? Ayan. Okay. Kunyari, yan. Okay. So, mag-insert, syempre, dapat may universal tayo. Alright? Gawa ko ng rectangle. Kunyari, yan. Ganyan yung problem mo. Alright? So, kunyari, uh, okay. So, kunyari, math. Ayan. English. Science. So again, hindi ko ito isosolve. Papakita ko lang, uh, binibigyan ko ng idea paano kayo magnanavigate using Mimeo Studio and deliver yung classes through synchronous or asynchronous by a video. Okay, ano ba? All, all three subjects, four, and then and so on. Okay? I hope nagkakaroon kayo ng idea. And lastly, we're almost done. So ito, I intentionally blank to. This is the last one. Okay, what if I want to solve a geometry problem? Okay, meron ganito. Mag-open ako ng file ko. Kunyari, uh, ang haba ng problem ko eh. Tinatamad na ako mag-type. Uh, pwede naman, okay? So, suppose I want to get problem number 50. Okay. So, in your Mimeo Studio, okay? Again, intentionally to blank. On your on my Mimeo Studio, right-click nyo tong image. Pwede kayo mag-insert ng file or screen clipping. Ito yung maganda dito. Okay? Ulitin ko po, what I'm going to do is to screen clip. Okay? Ulitin ko, ha, kunyari, uh, ayoko na mag-type or nawala na yung soft copy ko sa PDF, kunyari, or whatever. So, ayan, after I pressing screen clip, pwede kong iselect tong problem na to. Then, that's it. i -re resize ko na lang siya. Then, I'm, I'll do the solving. Okay? So, panghuli na to. So, let, pabasahin ko lang siya. So, pwede kang isosolve mo siya through illustration. Gawa ka ng hexagon. Alright? Gawa ka ng line. Alright. Yan yung sinasabi sa problem. A, B, C, D, E, F. Alright. Again, hindi ko ito isosolve. 
Meron akong video dito na nasa YouTube channel ko. All right? And then that's it. Get the area of this triangle. AFG, AFG. All right. Pwede niyo gawin 'yon, Jenneren. Pero kung gusto niyo, maraming uh, app like Autograph, GeoGebra, screen ka uh, what do you call this? Uh, geomet uh, geometer sketch pa. 'Yan yung ginagamit kong tatlo. All right. I'm going to insert a uh, GeoGebra file. Okay. I-open ko na siya. Ginawa ko na siya. Again, uh, you this part of your preparation. Okay. Kunyari, ito na yung figure. Inopen ko yung GeoGebra files ko. Okay. So, I want to insert that. Again, I'll go back to that. And then, screen clip. That's it. Then, yun na. I-adjust mo na lang. Diba? So, mas live siya kung din i-discuss mo. Diba? So, alam ba? This is 2, this is square root of 5, right triangle yan, by Pythagorean theorem, this is 2 squared plus 5, square root of 5 squared, that's 9, square root, so 3, so 2, right? So something like that. So, kailangan kong makuha to, so if this is theta, this is 120 minus theta, and so on. So, makukuha ko na yung area ng triangle, something like that, okay? So, again, ang intention ng lesson na to is not to solve this, pero... Uh, para magkaroon lang kayo ng idea how to navigate on the meme news studio. Alright? So, again, believe me, ma'am and sir, this is very user-friendly. Yung dalawang sinelect ko, meme news studio and screencast o matic. Alright. So, as I as I put here, sabi ko, magpapakita ko ng video lesson. Uh, Pahapyaw lang kasi wala na tayong time. So, okay. Sample, no? Yung sample. So, meron akong mga sample video na nagawa. Kunyari, eto. Uh, this is the product of screencast o matic. Ito yung recently ko lang ginawa. Okay? Yung audio ko. Press Ayan. video on my YouTube channel. Learn fun. Okay. Hindi ko na, hindi na po natin i-review to entirely, no? So, ito lang po yung sample. Okay? Ito lang po yung sample output ng screencast o matic. Kung nagtagal ako sa pag-take because uh, yun, medyo nabubulol or something. Pero as far as uh, using the screen automatic itself, wala pong problem. Napakadali pong gamitin. Okay. I-fast forward ko. Okay. Ito po yung problem. So, yun po. Nakikita nyo yung ibig ko sabihin. Iba ang impact sa students if live mong sinosolve yung problem. Rather than reading it. Again, don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with it. Pero iba ang impact if you are solving it personally and live. Okay? So, yan po. That's one example. So, and then, uh, ito yung ginawa ko last 2018 pa. So, medyo amateur pa ako dyan. So, yung figure ko hindi pa maganda. Alright? So, ito naman, hindi pa ako nagsusulat. Ito yung PowerPoint lang gamit ko. Alright? See? Parang lalabas, parang binabasa ko lang. Pangit kasi, I mean, para sa akin ha, Hindi ako comfortable na I'll just uh, reading everything displayed or up that appears on my PowerPoint presentation. Mas maganda pa rin yung may element na ikaw yung nagsusolve. Okay. Alright. So, I'm afraid we don't have much time now. So, uh, I hope you learned something from this uh, short webinar on how to make a video lesson in math. So, I hope after this session... You will have, you will now take the guts. Uh, okay, uh, I'll start creating now. Madali lang pala, hindi siya mahirap. But before that, before I end, so allow me, Miss Kia, no? So, may paplag lang ako. Okay. So now, mga ma'am and sir. All right. Uh, I'm inviting you, I'll take this opportunity, okay? I'll take this opportunity to endorse a Facebook page, Sipnayan360. The organizer or the admin of this Facebook page is none other than Doc Ian Garces from Ateneo de Manila University. Kung math teacher ka, follow mo to. Marami po kayo matututunan dito, so pakita natin. Alright? So, on this page, very, ano to, very informative. So, ayan. So, uh, okay, so may ma on this page, uh, hindi lang siya, ano, so Facebook is educational after all. Pwede natin siyang gamitin. So, merong weekly problem na pinupost dyan si Sir Ian and then si teacher will solve. Then after a week, Sir Ian will, will say kung tama or hindi and then teacher will share their solution. Very informative. Nagpo-post din dito everything about math. Okay? So, yung mga quotes, yung mga software, 
Webinars International, okay? Actually, mamaya to. Naka, naka, I will join that seminar mamaya, bandang 10.30 yata, yun ang gabi. Then, software yan. So, software, autograph. So, yun po. So, may mga free books din dito, okay? So, may mga contest problem na problem. Oops, okay? So, yun po. Okay? Then, so, that's for Sipnayan. Then, syempre, uh, I'm just a new fight in YouTube, no? Uh, I'm just three days old sa YouTube. Okay, pa-plug ko na rin. Here in my YouTube channel, so, I'm I'm planning, so we're planning to post uh, informative uh, math lessons. So I'm inviting you to subscribe on my channel, Learn Math with Sir Mark. Search nyo na lang po yan. Uh, right now, dalawa pa lang yan, pero oh, may mga series of videos na ako na i-upload soon. Also, okay, again, Learn Math with Sir Mark. That's me. Okay, and then of course, plug, uh, flex ko rin tong one of my co-teachers, yung... Siya yung nagturo sa akin actually. He's been doing this 2010 pa, 2011. Si Sir Olops, kung nanonood ka. Okay? So, marami kayo makikita ang videos din dyan. Okay? So, subscribe na rin po kayo. Very informative. What he is using, syempre like I said, uh, siya yung nagturo sa akin, same, Mimeo Studio. Kaya lang, yung ginagamit niya, older version. Alright? So, kasi sa kanya, nag-work pa yung tablet niya. Dalawa po kasi yan eh. Okay. And lastly, of course, Yung aming uh, EPS, si Sir Lee. Hi, Sir Lee, kung nanonood ka. So, top linag ko yung YouTube channel mo. So, very informative din po yung mga nandyan. So, if you have time, try to subscribe. Okay, so, 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 yung mga yan. But most importantly, I encourage all the math teacher nationwide to join SIPNAYAN 360. Okay? Very educational, very informative yung mga post po dyan. Okay. So, uh, kaya pa ba Miss Kia ng time? So, sige, mayroon tayong mga ilang questions dito. Alright, may mga nag-plug na sa akin. Okay, medyo marami. I'm not sure kung masasagutan natin to lahat on time. Okay. Ah, ito. So, in, in Delencia Vargas, paano daw po sa statistics, bar, uh, solving variance and standard deviation? Kailangan po kasi table and haba ng solution. When it comes to statistics, Actually, what I'm showing is the screen lang, di ba? And then yung app, how to write solutions board. Now, remember, kung screencast, on, so screencast on matic, okay? So, re-record niya whatever's on your screen. So, gagamit ka ng ibang software. Halimbawa, pwede mong gawin sa Excel. Actually, may mga nakita na akong video lessons doon uh, discussing about uh, ANOVA table using Excel lang. Pwede naman po yun. Marami pong gumagawa na nun. So, kay Miss... Vargas. Okay. Then kay Miss Reina Gumapo, Sir, mas preferred nyo po ba ang use of videos for teaching kesa synchronous learning? Ah, nasagot ko na to. Actually, you can combine. Okay, you can combine. So, so pwede naman pong gawin yun. Ah, wala akong preferred doon. Actually, I'm going to do both. Okay, kaya lang, pag synchronous, always remember, dapat uh, merong instruction from your school head. Dapat kasi hindi Ang problem kasi, dapat meron kayong schedule. Uh, halimbawa, 9 to 10, dapat si English class. 10 to 11, dapat math class. So, yung mga ganong factor. So, pero sa part na ng school admin yun, no? So, dapat isa yun sa consider Pero when it comes to synchronous or asynchronous, we can do both using this. as Pag synchronous, uh, hindi mo kailangan ng recorder. Just the Mimi Studio or PowerPoint presentation. Then share your screen. Then that's it. Google Meet, Zoom. Alright? Pero kung asynchronous, gagawa ka ng video lesson, gusto mo mabilis, convince ka, na convince kita, you're going to use screencast o matic, then do it. Yun lang po yun. Alright. Uh, Hannah Grace Liway. Hello. Ask ko lang if there are other apps or programs for presentation other than Microsoft PowerPoint. Nakita na, pakita ko po yun kanina. Microsoft PowerPoint. I'm using uh, Prezi presentation if you want. Or kung comfortable ka to discuss using GeoGebra, pwede po, ma'am and sir. Now, uh, if you are attending autograph session, you can discuss, comfortable ka to discuss math, uh, geometry problems using autograph or ito, ito na lang madal, matagal mag-open yung autograph po. Using geometry sa sketchpad, pwede rin po. Yan, maraming apps. So. Free rin po lahat yan. Okay, ayan no. So, alam ba, mag-solve ka ng problem. Alright. Ayan. So, pwede po yan. Uy, sir, tell you. Anyway, so yon. So, Ang idea, basically, you're just recording your screen. You're just recording your screen. 
So kung ano yung app na comfortable ka, mapa Georgia Bramanian, screencast of uh, Geometer Sketchpad, Desmos, or Autograph, fine. Wala naman pong problem. Okay. So, George Himorsen. Hello po, sir. Be smart po ang Bibal and ang aming gamit sa school. Pwede po ba ito sa share screen? Hindi uh, po ako particular sa Be smart. Okay, I guess Miss uh, Kia will answer that. Siguro, answer mo lang, Miss Kia. Okay. Okay. From Nals, Nals Key, Nals Pot. Sir Mark, ask lang po, if pwede bang gamitin ang mga applications offline, then upload na lang sa online lang ba siya? Uh, pwede naman po. Like I said, yung GeoGebra ko, di ba? So, nag-screen record. Basically, ang idea dito is, is record this screen, uh, re-record this screen kasomatic, whatever you are doing on your screen. So, GeoGebra is offline. So, uh, Geometer Sketchpad is offline. Okay, Desmos is offline. So, yun lang naman po yun. Okay? Okay. Uh, ito na pala, last question na ito. John Edward Wabe. Thank you, Sir Mark. Okay, thank you rin po for listening. I hope na meet ko yung expectation nyo. After all, ma'am and sir, ang paggawa po ng video lesson is not that difficult with a choi proper choice of video recorder, proper choice of uh, software in presenting your lesson. Okay. Okay po. So, Ms. Kia? Okay, meron pa po bang question? Okay, so I hope at, at the end of this uh, one-hour session, I, I'm afraid you don't, you don't have much time, uh, start na kayong gumawa ng video lesson nyo. In math, kailangan-kailangan tayo ng students natin. Alright? So, we teachers as the frontliners of education must step up to the challenge. Okay, and starts now. Thank you, Paul.